Art Aquarius. So this will be another behind the scenes tarot card reading. Um, why they ghosted you and if they're coming back. So Aquarius, we got receipts, side piece slash sneaky link, new spark, addiction, and then I got more cards down here. We got stole reverse, cautious money reverse and then we got change of mind but I'm gonna clarify these cards well the second row I'm gonna clarify but I feel like Aquarius this is somebody that they go to you because they wanted to prove themselves to a side piece some of y'all they had somebody invested into them if you if, if they wasn't if they wasn't invested into another person somebody was giving to them roles can be reversed but they go to true aquarius because they wanted to prove themselves to somebody else that they had on the side that they was valuable or they felt was a more fit for them somebody invested into a whole nother person that they had on the side and uh this is somebody that they really have a strong i'm hearing sexual attraction towards and maybe in a mix you was the new person because we do got that side piece you was the new spark. You you was the new interest also in this person. But for the most part, I feel like they ghosted you to prove themselves that another person was more worthy than you. I'm going to keep it real with y'all. Y'all need to know this. And um, now they have gained to be like strongly attracted to that person. We got new spark and then we got addiction. Somebody is highly attracted to somebody sexually whether this is that person being attracted to them or or vice versa or could be mutual but y'all take what side this y'all own in this situation you know but somebody still feels stuck for some reason i feel like there's somebody that may that may have went back and invested to somebody else that they may have had already had or a new person but they also still stuck on the new person. It could be. Or they still or they stuck on a person that they are already familiar with. Y'all take what applies. But I'm going to go ahead and clarify Aquarius. I'm hearing that they could be addicted to that person's sex. Or I'm hearing a, a, attractiveness like their looks or their beauty or something like that. That's too many on the cards. Clear into the messages, please. Okay. Your person, we got the Hierophant reversed. We got the Three of Swords reversed. Some of y'all, your person could not be like, they could be stuck on an old person. I'm getting that. Because we got stole and then we got the higher fit reverse. Your person probably not even ready for commitment. I'm just going to be honest with y'all. Your person is not ready for commitment. Or this could be your energy, Aquarius. Maybe you feeling this way. Maybe you met somebody new and then you already have somebody that you was dealing with on the side. It's like maybe you like the old person, the new person, but maybe you still stuck on somebody else from the past. You know, and um, you just not ready to commit yet. You're not ready to, you know, to have a higher you know, a, a serious relationship with nobody right now. Some of y'all could be a bit cautious about your heart because we got the three of swords reverse right here. It's like you trying to like guard it. Some of y'all could be still grieving over a past situation. And maybe that's probably why you still feel stuck about whether you should want to commit to somebody or not. Or maybe that's probably why you're not ready to commit because you still, you know, could be coming off as very guarded over your heart because you're still grieving over a past situation, some of y'all. Maybe you're not ready to commit because you still, like I said, not only you grieving over somebody from the past, but you also feel like um, you still stuck on the past. Not only grieving emotionally from the past, but maybe you're still dealing with another person on the past, from the past. The, the rest of y'all... It probably has nothing to do with a past situation. Maybe mentally and emotionally, like you're still grieving over the past situation. And physically, you want to 
you know, start something up with this new person that you are strongly attracted to, but you still feel stuck and feel like you cannot commit because you still hurt about the past. But somebody wants to prove, wants the other person to prove themselves to them of them being worthy enough to stay in a relationship, although they are attracted to the other person. So like I said, y'all take what applies. Maybe it has nothing to do with another person. Maybe it's just, maybe your person just feels stuck because they're still grieving. And that's probably why they ghosted you. Although they are attracted to you. Because I am seeing different sides. Okay, I'm going to break it down to y'all. One, one group of y'all, it has nothing to do with another person being involved. You know, it could have to do with this person mentally and emotionally pushing themselves away from you because they're not ready to commit. The other person, the other group of y'all, it is another person involved that they have not been able to get over um, from the past that they're physically dealing with. Although they are attracted to you, but they still feel like they cannot commit to you. Because maybe you want something serious, Aquarius, or this could be the other way around. Your person wants something serious, but the person you're dealing with on the side, maybe that's not something serious. That's just somebody you deal with on a sexual note. You see what I'm saying? Like a side piece, a sneaky link or whatever. And you know, y'all both don't want a commitment. You and your side piece. Y'all okay with just, you know, messing around with each other. But on the other side, the person, the new person is somebody that you could build something stronger, a stronger bond with, a, a, a solid connection with, but you're not ready to give this person your heart, your whole heart, because you still have a hard time letting go of a past situation. Some of y'all feel like y'all not worthy. We got for money. Even though it's say for money reverse, y'all feel like y'all don't deserve this new love, or you just feel like, like I said, you're not ready to commit to anybody, and y'all could be feeling a bit insecure. We're going to be honest with you. I'm going to be honest with y'all. Y'all could be feeling a bit insecure. You know, and you just want to deal with your sneaky link that you're dealing with where you ain't got to commit, where you ain't got, you know, where there's there's no title. That's the, that's what I really need to say. Like, there's no title. You Maybe you're okay with your person, or this could be your person. Somebody's okay with not being, like, not ready to commit right now because they don't have a title with the person they're currently dealing with. You see what I'm saying? There's no feelings involved. It's just sex. You see what I'm saying? And with you... It could just be something a lot more there, like a lot more, something they need to take more serious, which is they're not ready for. You see what I'm saying? I'm not getting bad energy with this reading. I'm not. I just feel like there's somebody who still wants to do them and they're not ready to commit. You know what I'm saying? Because they've been hurt in the past. And now they feel like you somebody that's special, like you somebody that they can hold on to, although they're not ready to commit to. You see what I'm saying? You somebody that they can take things a lot more serious with. Meanwhile, the person that they're currently dealing with, if there is a person um, they're just somebody that they mess with on a sex-based level. Nothing serious, no feelings involved, or none of that. But some of y'all, this persons do feel like they need to get their money up. They need to level up. They need to get themselves right in order to even commit to anything. King of Swords reverse. Yeah, they may be a bit closed off. Maybe they don't even want to communicate about... This is like I said, somebody could be feeling very insecure. But I am seeing a change of mind with somebody. Cling of... Oh, I say cling. <laughs> this could be your, you, Aquarius, changing your mind, or it could be your person changing their mind. Maybe you change your mind about them or maybe they could be changing their mind about how they want to take things forward with you. Whether they want to leave the person they're dealing with or not and come towards you, we're going to see. Clear, intuitive messages. We got the Ace of Pentacles. Yeah. Some of you, I feel like this is y'all energy or this could be vice versa. Somebody changed their mind about a commitment. They taking it back. They don't want it. Somebody don't want it. It could be y'all. Maybe they, you don't want it no more because they ghosted you or you feel like they've been neglecting you or you feel like they've been ghosting you. Look, Ten of Pentacles, because you want something serious. You want something long lasting. You want something where you can have a legacy with this person. And, and not only that, some of y'all's person is in a relationship with somebody else. You know what I'm saying? But... I don't, I'm not getting that there's, is, there's any feelings involved. You know what, I'm, I'm going to do something different. Hold on, Aquarius. Got this basket right here. I'm going to pull like a random card for y'all. But yeah, y'all, um, somebody changed their mind, decided not to, not to want that no more. Because somebody got ghosted. We got magic right here. Some of y'all, this person feels like this is a strong connection between y'all. There's a strong spark. I'm hearing divinely guided to be with somebody, but somebody could be running from it because they, they just not ready. They feel like, oh my goodness, I'm hearing magical. This is, this is like something very magical with this person. And you just feel like you don't want to go towards it right now because 
you're not ready. You still, you know, you still need to heal. I pray for someone like you. Wow. Somebody knows that you're the real deal, Aquarius, or this could be vice versa. And they're just not ready. Like I said, they're not ready. So they continue to do what they want to do. And maybe they, they took so long, so you just said, fuck it. You know, I don't even want it no more. Because you felt like they didn't, they wasn't interested or you felt like they didn't want to commit to you or, or whatever the case may be. But I'm going to go ahead and wrap this up, Aquarius. I hope this is resonating with you guys. Don't forget to like, comment down below, and subscribe. And y'all be blessed.